Okay, so uh, <clears throat> President Donald Trump did speak about the uh, North Korean missile launch. Uh, he simply said, we're going to handle it. But there is something in the way he said that that reminded me of a bouncer back in my honky-tonk days uh, when they would say, we're going to handle it. Usually they would uh, mosey on over to the offending party and chunk them out of the bar. So uh, maybe he's actually going to handle it. Uh, General Mad Dog Mattis did in fact speak as well during the press conference. Uh, he said that uh, this missile that was recently fired uh, flew the furthest and the highest of any previous launch, just proving uh, once again that they more than likely uh, have the uh, technology or soon will have the technology to launch missiles against the continental United States. Um, I think it was interesting that the uh, that the press conference came from a conference room where they were supposed to be meeting with the leaders of the Senate on uh, on both sides, um, both Nancy Pelosi and uh, Schumer um, did not show up for the Democrat side. So they just stood the president up, which is, wow, you stand the president of the United States up? And uh, he shot that press conference with a seat on each side of him empty with uh, Schumer and Pelosi's name tags right there where they were supposed to be. But uh, he really didn't give us any information about, uh, you know, the launch. Most of it was complaining about how Pelosi and Schumer stood him up. But, um, you know, they were there to talk about the budget. Uh, Trump did um, kind of threaten a shutdown of the government if they don't come to the table and if they don't come to these meetings and uh, engage in the negotiation over the budget that um, that he would be willing to shut the government down. Um, but once again, not much information. Uh, oh, the South Koreans did shoot back, according to Mattis, that they fired some pinpoint missiles, he called them, into the, uh, uh, into the ocean, I assume near the DMZ, to, uh, to let them know that they could be uh, fired upon if they keep this up. I think the South Koreans have really had enough, and uh, so they did fire missiles back, which is a little different than uh, previous launches. So, uh, once again, keeping uh, an eye peeled on this, but, um, yeah, all Trump would say is we're going to handle it. So, uh, there's your update. I'll keep you abreast of any changes that might come along.